Hey there, my name is Anthony I'm from Break the Twitch, and today I'm gonna to be talking about email. One of the things that came up quite a bit while I was working on the book and working on really removing a lot of other distractions from my life. So today I have three tips for you on how to manage your email inbox to remove the overwhelm and get it done in a timely manner so that you can get back to people on time. Break the Twitch. All right, so the first thing you can do to get rid of inbox overwhelm is somewhat counterintuitive, but it is to delete the email app from your phone. Now, trust me, I know this sounds counterintuitive and you might think, well, if I get rid of some of the emails I have in a spare moment or while I'm riding the bus or doing something else and I just do it from my phone, shouldn't that be reducing overwhelm when I get back to my computer and do the rest of my emails? The answer is no. In fact, you're most likely getting more overwhelmed because you have your email on your phone as well. And here's what happens. You'll check your email when you're out and you'll see someone requesting something from you. Maybe you don't have the attachment you need or something like that. So you mark the email as unread and it sort of becomes a to-do list item for later. Then you go to your lunch meeting or do whatever it is you have to do and all of a sudden you're thinking about that thing that you have to do later. And you still have to do it even though now you know about it. Had you not checked your email and just gotten on when you got back on the computer, when you could have actually done something about it, you wouldn't have had to worry about it all the time that you were at your lunch meeting thinking about other things. So by removing the app from your phone, you're actually making a huge step towards spending intentional time checking your email and responding all at the same time. And that's actually the next point. Pausing for a helicopter right now, because that's what happens. The second tip I have to help you reduce inbox overwhelm is to batch your email processing. So the worst thing you can do is have a tab open with your email in it all day long in the browser while you're trying to do other work, whether you're writing or working or doing anything else. It's awful to have your email open all day. Email is supposed to replace checking normal mail, right? So the idea of getting a, a postcard in the mail. Can you imagine standing by your post box in front of your house all day? It makes no sense whatsoever. We wouldn't just obsessively stand out there, hopefully, and wait for mail to come or just stand there even after what we've been expecting arrives. So think about what it was meant to replace and treat it in the same way. The best thing that you can do is batch your email work. That way you have intentional time set when you're sitting down and you're going to do the work required to get through your email inbox. I recommend doing something like 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. That way you have two times during business hours that you get back to people at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day. So this is really helpful and I know that it's so tempting to just have your email open all day, but it basically prevents you from getting into a creative flow and really getting into a productive flow in the rest of your life. So don't let email get in the way of what you actually need to be doing as well. The third and final tip here is never use your email inbox as a to-do list, especially for things that you're feeling a lot of resistance to and don't wanna do right away. What can happen is those unread emails will pile up and just sort of add visual clutter to your inbox and make it feel like you're really far away from tackling everything. So if you get an email that requires you to do something, you can keep it marked as unread or whatever, but make sure that you put that task somewhere else so that it's not cluttering up your inbox from the things you have to do. I promise you that these three tips will absolutely help reduce the overwhelm you may feel around your email inbox and learning to manage it appropriately. Getting back to people on time and not letting things sit too long while also not spending your whole day obsessively checking email and responding to things, which is just horribly unproductive as well.